In this video, we're going to see that synthetic chemists can become artists, somewhat like Salman Rushdie is writing in his book. Many tools have to be mastered before someone can create new materials. The first type of tools is the ability to make carbon-carbon bonds. In Organic Chemistry 1, depending on the school, this is usually covered in three reactions. The combination of acetylide and alkylate, the organometallic coupling, and the Friedel-Craft reaction. The second type of tools is related to the ability to adjust the functional groups. That is a fair number of reactions. Without these two types of reaction, one cannot make new compounds. Make sure that you are familiar with them before continuing this video. We will start this exercise by looking at how one can synthesize this compound from molecules with a maximum of four carbon atoms. This is initially a math problem. These connections at key places can give an idea on how to make the target molecule. However, synthesis is much more than a math problem. You must have a pathway to make the desired compound. This is called a chemical reaction. The first objective is to make the required carbon-carbon bond. Let's recall the three presented at the beginning. The third one is irrelevant for our target molecule because it involves aromatic compound, whereas we have only derivatives of alkane. Let's show in a concrete way what it means to make carbon-carbon bonds using these two strategies. We will drop the OH for now. There are two ways to make the connection between a two carbon molecules with a four carbon molecules. Here they are. There are also two possibilities to make a three carbon plus three carbon connection. They are presented here. Finally, two more to make a four carbon and a two carbon connection. Let's take a moment to reflect on what has been done. We identify six different strategies to make the carbon architecture of our target compound. We took a systematic approach to consider all possibilities. Synthetically, these reactions are all identical. They will have similar yields. To ascertain this, one will have to know the details and the limitation of the two strategies used. This is part of the prerequisite knowledge expected in this video and highlighted at the beginning. Although the yield for all reactions will be similar, they will not all provide access to the target molecule. The way to make the decision is to consider the need to insert the OH group on the product of the reaction. Here is the same table showing only the product resulting from the six reactions. When using the strategy indicated in the second row at the bottom of the table, alkanes are formed. No handle or functional group is left to insert the OH group. This strategy must be excluded. For the first strategy, in the first row, alkynes are formed. The alkynes allow further transformation. This is the strategy to use. The second step in our decision procedure is to look at which three reactions can produce the desired alcohol. The position of the OH is what we need to take into consideration. For the hydroxyl group to be inserted at the end of the chain, 
3 plus 3 and 4 plus 2 are useless. Only 2 plus 4 is appropriate. We are now left with one reaction, shown retrosynthetically like this. Practically, in the lab, the reaction will be done this way. Mixing acetylene with sodium amide will give the acetylite. The addition of the bromobutane on the acetylite will afford one exine. That is the first step of a synthesis, adjusting the carbon architecture. The second part is relatively easy if the first part is done correctly. We now need to adjust the functional group. This is like a second multi-step synthesis. The number of reactions that can be used for this part is much greater than in the first part. Here are two possible paths. Depending on the reactions covered in your organic chemistry course, one or both might have been covered. We will see here the reactions for the two paths. We already covered the first two reactions. From the alkyne, a selective hydrogenation with Lindler catalyst will produce a terminal alkene. The hydroboration oxidation will afford the anti-Markovnikov product that is the target molecule. As mentioned in the introductory quote, organic chemists can make up materials. For this, no need to use P2C2E, process too complicated to explain. Only a few chemical reactions well understood can give access to a variety of compounds. You can try to synthesize the molecules using some of the procedure highlighted in this video. Here is one that is slightly harder. Have fun!